A school district in Minnesota has decided that students don't need to read at least two novels, historic novels, because, well, they might get offended. Hey, everybody, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO, a Minnesota school district removing the classic novels To Kill a Mockingbird and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn from its required reading list due to the novel's use of a racial slur. Now, if you went to school in the United States, uh, you probably grew up uh, reading one of, if not both, of these novels as required reading uh, in English classes. Uh, Michael Carey, the director of curriculum and instruction for the, D, uh, for the Duluth School District in Minnesota, announced the two books were removed due to the N-word mm, uh, used throughout both novels. We felt we could still teach the same standards and expectations through other novels that didn't require students to feel humiliated and marginalized by the use of a racial slur, uh, Carey told the Duluth News Tribune. The two books would be available in school libraries if students were interested in reading them on their own, uh, at least uh, according to Fox 21 Online. Though I'm sure at some point they'll be removed from the library too because of, again, the N-word. Carey said that the books were removed in order to be, quote, considerate of all of its students. Stephen uh, Weatherspoon, president of the NAACP's local chapter, said he welcomed the decision, called the novels hurtful. I don't know if Stephen's actually read the novels or not, uh, but he said the novels were hurtful and they uh, use hurtful language that has oppressed people for over 200 years. Okay, Mr. Witherspoon, let me ask you this. Um... Now, the use of the N-word, yes, uh, can be hurtful. Uh, but if you actually read through those books, um, you, you can kind of tell how certain characters, I don't know, evolve uh, in the book. And, and, you know, it's not meant in those novels to be uh, derogatory uh, right now or hurtful right now. Um, now, also, uh, Mr. Uh, Witherspoon of the NAACP, uh, since you are so against... Uh, the use of the N word in uh, in literary terms. Uh, what would you also be against the use of the N word in I don't know rap music? Because last time I checked in the uh, in the uh, rap world, uh, the N word still dropped quite a bit, quite a bit. And you know, since you now say uh, that the language has oppressed people for over two hundred years, um, are you are you gonna get mad at some of the rappers who uh, use that word? Just a question. Uh, he's, um, uh, let's see here, uh, another another quote here, quote, it's wrong, uh, there are a lot more authors out there with better literature can, that can do the same thing that does not degrade our people. Uh, I'm glad they're making the decision and it's long overdue, like 20 years overdue, Witherspoon said, let's move forward and work together to make uh, school work for all of our kids, not just some, all of them. Harper Lee's Pulitzer Prize winning novel is at number 21 on the American Library Association's most banned or challenged book in the last decade. The novel published in 1960s, of course, follows the adventures of a girl and her brother and the racial inequality that existed in their small Alabama town. Last year, administrators in Biloxi removed the book from the curriculum as well. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, published in 1884 by Mark Twain, follows the adventures of a poor white boy in a slave. The novel made the list of the most frequently challenged books back in 2015. You know, it's pretty sad when we're going after novels, historic novels, really, uh, that uh, where we're going after them because of language used, uh, not the story overall, not how the story uh, evolves, not uh, you know how the story plays out, uh, but because of use of a word, uh, a word that kids still know, kids still hear, kids still hear it in rap music. They hear it on uh, you know football fields, basketball courts. Uh, they hear the word used all the time, uh, and not so much in a literary sense. Do they? Uh, hear it. Uh, I think this is a stupid move by the school district in Minnesota, and yet another uh, example of the pol of political correctness 
run amok in the United States. People have got to start pushing back against this. We can't ban books. And I know the school district isn't banning the book right now, but we're going down that path of banning a book uh, or banning books because of language used that people don't like uh, anymore. Well, they say, they, you know, people say they don't like the word, uh, but it's okay when it's used by rap stars. Uh, so it's okay there, but it's not okay uh, when in a novel uh, from the 1800s, uh, it's not okay uh, when uh, it's used in any kind of literature, uh, I guess, that is considered historic. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk, 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day. We'll talk later.